heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello and welcome to 3ABN's Family Worship and happy Sabbath to each and every one of you. I'm Chris Shelton and I'm here with my, my wonderful husband, Pastor Kenny you. Shelton. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd do without you, that's oh, for that's sure. that's sweet, thank you. Be lost <laughs> in more ways than thank one. You, and we are surrounded by so many of your 3ABN family that I'd mm -hmm. like to introduce to you tonight. To my right is Brother Tim Parton. I know Tim, no one knows you, right? No, no one, I'm working on, I'm working no one's on ever my worldwide heard of acclaim. You or the talent or that you can actually uh, play the piano. It truly piano, doesn't right? matter whether they know me or not. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just glad to be here and glad to be part of this family. That's good. Well, you Amen. probably taught, you know, indirectly half of America how to play the piano, you know? <laughs> well, uh, that's good. Good. That's a blessing. We're just, let's move it on. Is, okay. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this because when oh, I get yeah. to the kingdom, I'm going to. I'm going to have a playoff with you, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? I'm going to sit back and listen to you and all my worldwide oh, students. Be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. wonderful. And next yeah. to you is Sister Janelle Owen. Janelle, you do a lot of things that people don't realize that you do. They see it all the time because you work in graphics. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you do. I'm in the publishing department and um, we just, our team is just amazing. Um, we work on the Worldwide Magazine, the 3ABN World Magazine. Um, and lots of other things that include print and web, um, all of the websites, all the social media. Uh, we're, we're behind the scenes, but we enjoy it, and I, I love my team. So. Well, you yeah. work behind the scenes, but actually a lot of the work that you yeah. do comes out, out. before sure. many of us to prepare the people to let them know about events mm -hmm. and programs and camp mm -hmm. meeting and mm -hmm. all this stuff. It's wonderful yeah. and beautiful work that you guys Amen. do. Praise the Lord. I know she's helped me a time or two, not near enough, but. <laughs> I don't know if there's ever going to be enough help for me. She has a job. <laughs> there's a lot that goes into that magazine that you wouldn't believe the details that are involved oh, in the yes. magazine. But um, God is good and he gets Amen. us through each one. Got the right people on it. Praise Amen. The Lord. Amen. And to my left, uh -huh. if you didn't hear her punching me over here, <laughs> telling her that she had her work cut out for her in so many words, is my sister-in-law, Tammy Chance. Tammy, we love having you and Bruce with us all. It's been yeah. too long since you've been That's here. We're right. glad you're back. Right. Thank you. Yes. We're glad to be here. Yeah. yeah. And Tammy, Tammy is kind of, tell us about what you're doing, Tammy. Mm. Oh, that takes several hours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> down. You don't want to go there. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm raising lab puppies. Um, we've mm -hmm. got a lot of parent dogs and a lot of litters and, and it's just kind of a, a ministry for me. Um, when people, I talk to people for months in advance of getting the puppy and uh, I try to share about God and Amen. God's love and then whenever they pick up their little puppy packets, I always put a steps to Christ in there. Amen. And Amen. so it's, uh, it's amazing how <coughs> you can maybe work with people in that manner that you couldn't in another way Absolutely. that doesn't go to church Absolutely. or, you know, doesn't care about that kind of thing. Amen. But as you talk to them, the, the, you can find out a lot, you know, awesome. and we get people saying, you know what, I, I believe that, I believe that God's in charge and I that kind of thing. Too, so. Yes. Yeah. And he's blessed it so tremendously. He has. Mm. And Absolutely. I know I've, I've got one of your concrete puppies and I love <laughs> him to death. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. Bruce, how about you? Well, I run the donation department here, as mm -hmm. most people know. And and mm -hmm. I work with Janelle somewhat, and she is, takes great attention to detail. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so we appreciate her. Yes. Well, you do too. Absolutely. You yeah. take a lot of, have taken a lot of attention to detail. You've yeah. done a lot of study over the years. You know things that <clears throat> sometimes even dealers in the area aren't sure mm -hmm. that about, you know, when it yeah. comes to price of things, which is such a beautiful, you know, 
Mm -hmm. knowledge for you to have because so many people if they've got something in their hand and they want to donate it and use it for the Lord it goes to you right yeah. so it's up yeah. to you to get the best price possible right and be good stewards of the Lord's work Amen. we That's have right. yeah. Now. Now you're going yeah you know I've always said the the Lord's message is free mm -hmm. but it takes <laughs> finances <laughs> to yeah. get it out yes, it, mm -hmm. it does Amen. pastor Kenny <laughs> would you lead us off in prayer we're going to talk Absolutely. tonight about truth that transforms wow. the truth that transforms, transforms. so let's Amen. have prayer all right let's pray we're going to invite you at home pray along with us all oh, how wonderful that is and I just I have to uh, you know just talk about a little bit some people when they write in or they call in, they say, you know, when, when you folks maybe kneel in prayer or you're sitting around the table and, and you pray, we pray right along Amen. where we can. We get on our yeah. knees and we pray <laughs> too. It, that's, a, that's so comforting and so encouraging Amen. that God's people are willing to do that because, you know, it's, it's good that we come together, pray together, counsel yes. together. So we're going to invite you right now. Let's pray, shall we? Amen. Our kind, loving, gracious, heavenly Father, it is a privilege privilege tonight to come to thee and to be able to call thee our Father. Thank you that we're part of the family of God, not because of anything we've done, because we're so good at anything, but because of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that precious blood that flowed so freely on Calvary's cross that we might have eternal life. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we just, we sense that we need your presence in a very oh, special yeah. way as we Amen. look at the subject here, the truth that transforms and Lord, we pray that we take these beautiful truths of your word inside of our heart and our mind and our life. We truly be transformed. We, we need the Holy Spirit to make that transformation, but we have to be willing. And so yes. if I pray tonight for each and every one, and uh, we pray that the, in the homes right now, there are those who may be in the Valley Decision that mm -hmm. want to make that decision and mm -hmm. not sure what to do. We pray you'll lead and guide direct every one of us here that you will put your thoughts in our mind and yes. we may relate mm -hmm. those away that heaven would rejoice and be exceedingly glad mm -hmm. those decisions are made Lord we're going to give you praise give you honor and give you glory and thank you for what you're going to do thank you for each one that uh, participates in the, the in the filming even of this that uh, behind the scenes everything that takes place Lord for, may it be for your honor and for your glory and at last we just praise your name and thank you in Jesus name amen amen, amen. 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 Truth that transforms, yeah. you know, it's going to help enable us mm -hmm. to be in the kingdom oh, someday. Amen. So we're going to actually yes. sing, and we pray that you'll sing along with us. This world is not my home. One of our favorite songs, I think. The end? We might do it again at the end. We'll see. Well, I, okay, I tell you, this is really good. I love it. <laughs>
We can't God. feel at home in this that world. Yes, yeah. that is beautiful. Amen. And those angels beckoning us Amen. to come Singing on in. Singing right along yes. with us. Amen. Amen. Wow, that is awesome. I yes. just, I love that because it reminds us when all these things are happening around us and we feel down and discouraged, mm -hmm. you know, this song reminds us oh, that yeah. this world is not our home. Thank God. Right. We That's are right. just pilgrims that are passing That's through. Right. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. 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 Yeah. And Amen. as we are passing through, we're going to learn about truth that transforms. Yes. And we're going to basically dissect Psalms 15 verses oh, 1 and 2. Nice. Psalms 15 verses 1 and 2. And I was hoping, Janelle, that maybe you would read that sure. for us. Yeah. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Amen. You know, it's beautiful because that asks the questions mm -hmm. that many of us ask. You know, we, we might not say it in those specific words. We might say more like, what do I need to do to be saved? Mm -hmm. right. You know, and then it gives the answer. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that. And we're going to be reading from the book that is entitled My Life Today, some mm -hmm. of the portions here. I'm going to begin reading in that book now. It reads, we must present the principles of truth that let them work upon the hearts of the people. We may pick the leaves from a tree as often as we please, but this will not cause the tree to die. Yeah. The next season, the leaves will come out again just as thick as before. Yeah. But we know that when we're, we're mowing, especially, don't we? Oh, oh absolutely, <laughs> yes. But strike the ax mm -hmm. at the root of the tree, and not only will the leaves fall off themselves, wow. but the tree will Yes. Those who accept the truth and the love of it mm. will die to the world and will become meek and lowly in heart like their divine Lord. Just as soon as the heart is right, listen to this, mm -hmm. just as soon as what? The heart. The heart, heart. The heart mm. is right. Mm. The dress, the conversation, the life will mm. be in harmony with the Word of God. Yes. Yes. So in other words here, if we just really were to focus on that one sentence alone, we find out it's not our place. Mm. When someone comes mm. in and asks, what shall I do to be saved? It's not our place to change the heart. Right. We can lead them into all mm. truth, but it's the Holy Spirit that right. has Amen. to come in Amen. and do that work. Yes. We all need to humble ourselves under the, the mighty hand of God. May He help us to plant our feet Eat. firmly upon the flat platform of eternal truth. Mm. And the question that we want to begin with tonight right. is number one, the platform of eternal truth with such spiritual confusion in the world today. Uh -huh. How may we, how may you at home be certain that we are learning what truth really is? Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a, that's a pretty heavy duty question, is. isn't it? Yeah. Because uh, each person when you talk to, which I found, you know, regardless of what church or maybe even background, they'll <coughs> simply say, we have, we have the truth. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe, you know, that's maybe how they should feel. We should feel we have it and maybe, you know, we do or we don't, but how do we really figure out what mm. is truth? Mm -hmm. You know, from, from the Word of God here, I thought it was very, very interesting and even what you talked about. First of all, there's four points in there that I thought was interesting. I'll mention quickly, we talk about it if you want to, but it says just as soon as the heart is right. Mm -hmm. She emphasized that, but just as soon as the heart is right, everything else will find its place. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we, we bicker about, well, what we wear and how we wear it or what we don't wear and what we eat, what we don't wear. As soon as the heart is right with God, Amen. they cease to be issues because we simply read the Word of God and what God says about this certain issue is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. In other words, my, my, the way that I dress, right? Mm -hmm. Once my heart is changed, I don't have to try to worry about it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be modest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be like, Christ wants mm -hmm. me to be. When my heart is right, my conversation, I don't have to try to guard it. My conversation will be the same whether you and I are standing out in the parking lot right. or not or whether we're in the church. Yes. It's going to be the same. The conversation is going to be right. Mm -hmm. What this says to me is you don't beat people over the head yeah. with yes. the do's and right. the don'ts Amen. that are just learning and just, just coming into truth. Mm -hmm. This is saying Give them time. Let their heart yeah. change. Let, mm -hmm. Things will change. Their life will change with it. We don't need to beat yeah. people over the head with it. So work on work on the heart then. Isn't that yes. Right? And uh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was just I was trying to find that verse. Um, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, 
is there a freedom, you know, like you're saying, not beating people over the head with it? Because if the heart is really, truly seeking and mm -hmm. um, finds that truth, mm -hmm. then we will, um, we will have that peace and love in our heart and we won't, you know, do that to mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have that for ourselves and we'll have that security of knowing that what we're learning is the truth is because, you know, we'll have that freedom and peace mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that John 8, I, John, John 8, 8 32. I was, okay. See if that's yeah. it. Yeah, okay. John 8, 32. John 8, 32. I think. The truth shall make you free, right? Yeah. yeah that, that's mm -hmm. what you're talking about, what the truth yeah, transforms. That's it. Mm -hmm. Remember, a lie never transformed. I mean, transform you to something else. But if you want to be transformed mm -hmm. into the image of Jesus, it takes knowing what truth is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm always challenged is, is this really the truth of God's right. Word? Mm -hmm. Because I know what we're talking about th today is if the truth is inside the heart, there will be a change. Mm -hmm. Now, if the changes don't, <clears throat> don't come, that means possibly the truth is not there or we don't love the truth. Mm -hmm. We're not mm -hmm. taking it in because mm -hmm. to me, it's an impossibility to take truth in and say, I love it and I want to know what it, and no change comes about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to make a point okay. too because I don't want anybody to be confused mm -hmm. and probably anyone that's walked this walk, they're not confused, but it doesn't happen overnight. Right. No, no. No. I praise God for His Amen. mercy with mm -hmm. me. Mercy. I mean, because a lot of these things we struggle with, mm -hmm. you know, but we're coming into a time in, in this world's history that I think we're going to see a lot of these things. In fact, we're told we're going to see a lot of these things happen quicker than perhaps what mm -hmm. they've happened in our lives, mm -hmm. you know, because it didn't just happen with mm -hmm. me, you know, just instantaneously. Mm -hmm. It was a growth process. Mm -hmm. It was a daily study process. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think that's the case with anybody mm -hmm. because that's oh. the fact and the question you're asking is how do we, how can we be certain that what we've learned is truth? Mm -hmm. And personally, uh, we, we all have to encounter, just like you're saying, we have to grow in the Word if we're mm -hmm. studying. But Kenny, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. you ask you could get a mass, multi, a number mm -hmm. of, of answers to that question beca because they, everybody would say that they have the mm -hmm. truth. It's personal testimony, mm -hmm. um, you know, what, what you've been through. I think it's a personal mm -hmm. story uh, of what, uh, how, you, how you learn the truth, um, how you know that the truth is the truth, mm -hmm. how you know that the scripture is the truth because if you ask a Buddhist if they believe that what they that what they've studied and what they've learned is the truth, mm -hmm. then they're going to say that's the truth. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think it all boils down to faith, having faith in the Word of God and faith in Jesus that He is the truth. Mm -hmm. He said, I am the way, the life, the, the, the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe somebody else comes along and says that same thing. Mm -hmm. So I think truth um, if, if I'm understanding what this question says, you know, how can we be certain that what we're learning as, as Christians mm -hmm. uh, is the truth? But then how do we witness to someone else who says, and maybe this is, I'm getting too deep too soon mm -hmm. on this no. conversation, no. But, no. But, Go ahead but, and but how, do we, yeah, how yeah. do we tell somebody else <laughs> mm -hmm. that yeah. Jesus is the truth mm -hmm. and then believe us? Yeah. And then there has to be, th th we call it about proof of scripture here then, don't we? Mm -hmm. right. So we have to use, because we'll sit and, and we'll talk all day long, but then we get back into the word of God. Right. Mm -hmm. The truth, right. what is it? That has to be. I think we all have it, Isaiah yes. eight twenty. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to show to the law and to, and to the, the testimony, testimony. Mm -hmm. right. if they speak not according to this, mm -hmm. it's because there is no mm -hmm. light in them. Mm -hmm. So right quick, that will uh, make void an awful lot of people in the world that say we have the truth. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's what we have to do if we find the truth, the law and the testimony. That testimony is the testimony of, of the Bible, the testimony of what? The prophets yes. of old, their life, what they lived, what yeah. they taught. Yeah. that we have to go back to something solid. That is the only moral mm -hmm. absolute that we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because what you were explaining is that there are just numerous, numerous truths. Yes, yes. numerous right. truths. Yeah. But we have to allow the Bible to interpret mm -hmm. itself. Amen. And the problem is you've got, remember there's 10 virgins, you know, mm -hmm. and there mm -hmm. we five that are lost and five that are saved. Mm -hmm. The ones that are saved, their, their lamps are full of oil, right? Mm -hmm. They've been studying, they've been praying, mm -hmm. they're full of the Holy Spirit, yet they all still fell asleep. Don't forget mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. They all fell asleep. Sleepy. All right. So when we go back to Isaiah 8, 20, and we find mm -hmm. to the law and to the testimony, we have to, no matter which church it is, what denomination it is, yeah. what they're believing, go back to the Word of God that He profoundly, just absolutely held intact over so many years when the devil tried to just destroy the scriptures. 
I mean, people mm. died because they had them hid. They would mm. sew them oh, in their yeah. clothes. Mm. So, I mean, what God has done just to preserve His Word so that we can now wow. study it mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Yeah. But to go yeah. back and say, okay, well, this church says this, this church, for example, we'll just talk about the Sabbath. It's obvious we're welcoming in the Sabbath, right? Mm -hmm. We're all here to welcome in the Sabbath. Most people, they're going to church on another day. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some religions that go on Friday, some on Thursday, and many here in the United States that go on Sunday. Good mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. But we are told in Scripture, especially once we get into Revelation, mm -hmm. it says, come oh, out of her, my right. people, mm -hmm. and be not partakers of her mm -hmm. sins. It's talking about that spiritual confusion. The only way, the only way mm -hmm. that we can find out what is truth is by line upon line, precept upon precept, to the mm -hmm. law and to the mm -hmm. testimony. If they are saying, okay, well, this day, oh. but the Bible says Sabbath, mm -hmm. there you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. That's a truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean it, it, it's not going to cut mm -hmm. us if we've grown up but, with but something can we, else? But can we really know it? Mm -hmm. See, this is what people say. I think you can't can. really know it because we think we know it. But it's yeah. interesting, and it, it, uh, is it uh, John 7, 17? Mm -hmm. He says, you, you, you will know the truth. Mm -hmm. You will know the doctrine. Mm -hmm. you see? So if we want to know what truth is, we will know what it is because it is possible, isn't it? Tammy, if you think about it, isn't it possible to know what is truth? And Bruce, isn't it? Kenny, I like to keep it simple. Well, go ahead. I do too. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. I'm a simple Just person. Just put it out there for us. All right. God's I'm, Word yeah. gives us facts and reasons. History yeah. has prevailed that His Word is truth. I like Amen. that. Because things have happened the way He said they would. Yes. yes. Our faith must rest upon good reasoning, mm -hmm. not absolute proof. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's, That's good. Exactly yeah. right. So, so faith. Read that good. last line. Yeah. 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 If our, faith our faith must faith rest faith. on good reasoning, not absolute proof. Good. What? You it, said proof. 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 Right. Not absolute proof. Proof. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what faith is. Mm -hmm. It's not. I mean, we, that's why you. That's why they call it faith. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's if it's mm -hmm. absolute truth, I can know that this table is going to hold up my this water mm -hmm. because it's a table. It's got four legs. I mean, we've tried it, and but faith. Uh, mm. Faith is setting your glass on it. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Faith is setting. You know, I mean, it's not. Uh, if it's if if you, well, you just have to have some things. You just have to be, trust and mm -hmm. and believe. Right. You know, you. Um, mm -hmm. It's it, that's why when you especially, tell somebody, especially especially in the day we're living in, because truth is becoming error. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And error is becoming truth. Mm. So I think you know the truth. We have to. We first of all, we need to study to know. Studies show ourselves mm -hmm. approved unto God. Mm -hmm. So we need to study what the Bible says truth is. And then by faith, mm -hmm. even though you're hearing other people saying this and this and that, and we realize there's going to come even a strong delusion upon this world someday. Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to impersonate Christ. And we are told in Spirit of Prophecy, he's going to even tell us that he changed the mm -hmm. Sabbath mm -hmm. from Saturday to Sunday. Now, if you were to listen, which the Bible says don't do, mm -hmm. he says, if you hear he's in the desert, don't go. Don't turn on Channel 12. Okay. Don't turn on channel six. Don't listen because he's going to imitate Christ to a T. And I just want to say that, you know, like I think you mentioned earlier, Tim, about, you know, different faiths that have different truths. And, you know, I'm thankful that God takes us where we're at and he, um, he knows the heart mm -hmm. and he knows someone that's genuinely seeking him. So maybe they're not in the truth that we know right now, mm -hmm. but maybe they're living yeah. the light that they have, you know? Yes. And we need to have mercy for people yes. <clears throat> in mm -hmm. those walks. Yes. You know? Amen. And, and, Amen. and our job is to, to give them, you mm -hmm. know, let, to go ahead and give them because every man mm -hmm. will have that opportunity. Right. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is honest, it doesn't, I started to say it doesn't matter where they, well, I guess in a sense it doesn't matter well, where we start, it it's where we end up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's a lot of people that start in another denomination, but as they continue to grow in right. grace and in strength and in truth, mm -hmm. they feel that calling to come out. That's what we right. talked just, about when the heart so is right. There's so much evidence mm -hmm. here. There's so much evidence in yeah. Scripture that reveals what the Holy Spirit's going to do mm -hmm. if you're searching for truth. In John 16 and John 15, you can look at it in, in 1 Timothy 2, 4. It says we, want to, we come to the knowledge of the truth. Mm -hmm. Again, knowledge is not the whole answer, is it? No. no, like Tim was saying with the faith, that made me think of when a tragedy happens mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people say, 
you know, why would God right. al allow this? And you have no, no answer. We don't know the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And all we can say is you have to trust him. Mm -hmm. So that's where the faith comes in oh, to yes. say, I don't understand, but I yes. have to trust. And when yes. we know the character yes. of God and we know his principles and his mm -hmm. ways, then we can trust that, you know, that he has our best interests, whether, whether right. we understand those situations mm -hmm. or not. If we oh, know yes. God's character oh, enough right. about his yes. character, then we'll know. So yeah. We'll know that we can trust him. We don't know all the answers because right. our minds is not on the same oh, level. No, no, right. no, uh -uh. no. But we can be assured, like I say, the Holy Spirit will teach us, uh -huh. and as we're willing to learn. <laughs> but then the other thing is teaching knowledge. We just talked about here. Bring, you know, it's going to come to the knowledge of truth. But then First uh, Peter, what is it, one twenty-two, talks about. Then we need to obey. Mm -hmm. So we come to mm -hmm. a what? A knowledge, yes. an understanding. Accountability. It's simple accountability, mm -hmm. and then we have to obey. Mm -hmm. So to say, I know, I know. I talked to a lot of people, they know everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, say that. I, every, well, everything, you, everything you say, I know. Mm -hmm. I, I've been there already. I've already done all that. <laughs> well, it's true, a lot of them I hear. But again, it's not, it, you know, we stress that it's being obedient to what you yeah. understand and know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's true. Exactly. Even oh, yeah. if I'm a little confused about something and I'm honest mm -hmm. in heart and I'm growing in Christ, mm -hmm. God accepts it. I'm still, mm -hmm. off, I'm still off the mark. Mm -hmm. But he, He's going to lead me because you're honest mm -hmm. in heart. He's going exactly. to continue to lead me into what? All, All truth. truth. All truth. It's, That's it's a, a function a of, the, of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. So you can, can't say, well, we have the Holy Spirit, you know, and then we're way off in the in North 40 somewhere. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It, it, it leads That's to That's a truth. good point well, because there's a lot of churches that claim, you know, in fact, they build their whole church around the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we have yeah. the Holy Spirit. Mm. But once they leave that sanctuary, basically they're living the same life that mm. they've always lived mm. in the world. Now, sometimes yeah. they might, sometimes they mm. might dress a little different, look different, but it's the same TV programs. It's the mm. same place. You know, there's not a no real change. change in the, the life. Thing, the thing that uh, just, this is all we, we, we can talk about, the thing is, as one pastor said one time, oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, we have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and you Adventist folks have the truth. Okay. That's an impossibility. You wow. You're still with oh, me. my goodness. That's an impossibility yeah. to se it separate truth from the Holy Spirit. Mm. That, you, that man eventually became an Adventist, by the oh, way. Oh, my goodness. Well, there, let's not go too far, but yeah, that's true. That's true. You come to, but you, you see the point? Mm -hmm. we, we, we have the Spirit, because we have the Spirit, and we do a lot of things in church, and there's a lot of hype, and there's a lot of this and that. That doesn't mean diddly. Can yeah. I say diddly? Mm, you did. it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. That's like yeah. saying you can drive a car without a battery. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, and, you know, like something else that well, God has really been, like, just showing me, like, the last few years is, you know, if, if you really have the truth and if you're really following God, yes. there'll be balance in your life. You know, yes. you won't go to one extreme or the other. You'll be solid and balanced, mm -hmm. right. you know. There won't be that, you know, the crazy, mm -hmm. you know, extremes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's another way we can tell if we're learning truth, is it Amen. balanced? Amen. You know? Amen. Good. Good balance. I like that. Yeah, balance. We do need balance. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing yeah. years ago mm -hmm. he helped me to do is balance mm -hmm. because I was one of those, I, I, I think I was always had a tendency to go too far because I wanted to please the Lord. I wanted to mm -hmm. do what was right. Mm -hmm. And he taught me balance. I really well, appreciate scripture. that. Scripture teaches yeah. a good balance, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, well as you bring in the scripture well, to me. That's you know, I, I'd like to jump back to where the faith mm -hmm. and, and truth connect mm -hmm. because we're talking about how we're going to know what truth is. What if we were just uh, in the audience in, in Pharaoh's um, hall when Moses came in? Oh, boy. You know, when the, the, mm -hmm. his staff was turned into a serpent mm -hmm. and then the magicians came up and their staffs mm -hmm. turned mm -hmm. into a serpent. You see, we can't always mm -hmm. believe what we see. Mm -hmm. right. You can't always right. believe what you mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. And what about Christ in the desert, the loaves of bread? Don't you know he smelled that Ooh, bread that after 40 bread. days and 40 bread. nights? Mm -hmm. And you're so hungry, yes. you're, you're mm -hmm. you know, a mess. What's mm -hmm. the word? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he was very, very hungry. Right. Emancipated, is that the right word? <laughs> I mean, emaciated. Emaciated. I knew there was a word out there. He was emaciated from Too hungry to think. Thank you, Roy. He needed someone to think. But you see what I'm saying? It would have been so easy, like, oh, God has sent me bread after 40 days. You know, so. Because the devil came as well, honey. As an angel, as a devil, light. or as an, an angel, angel from heaven angel to come to light. help, mm -hmm. come to help Christ. And he had to know the scriptures. I mean, come to on, a bring that Come on, to a T, to be able to pinpoint the just minute 
differences that mm. the enemy presented to him. Mm -hmm. So is same truth important? Us. Amen. It's the same for us. Sure, we, wouldn't, we, we, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. How would we understand? If you, mm. if you know truth, that exposes error. What mm. do we present is the truth. We don't present error. Mm. But you have to know what truth is first, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all truth, is what mm -hmm. it says. So that, that helps us. That's the point. We praise yeah. God. Yes. You know, I, I think faith, too, like for me getting older, I've often complained I don't recall, I don't remember as well mm. as I used to. And I'm not sure if that has yeah. anything to do with just getting older or just. Mm you know, health problems or whatever. I'm not sure, but that Most concerns of them around the table me. is not Maybe going to answer that yeah. because they say we're not there. But, okay. you know, I think... I'm the, past there. You're past. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking about faith even yeah. in that ramification mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people that you see and eventually they may come down with a terrible disease and lose oh, their mind, mm -hmm. you know, yes. but it's faith knowing that God, even through that mm -hmm. trial, will take yes. care of them. Mm -hmm. He understands mm -hmm. and He's going to oversee everything for us. Truth is if, so valuable is what mm -hmm. you're talking about. Truth. Oh, it is valuable. Uh, Proverbs 23, 23, so it's easy to remember mm -hmm. Proverbs 23. It says, you know, by the truth, and sell it not. Wow. Yeah, so, good. and again, what does it cost? You know, Bruce, what, what, does, oh, what does it cost to buy the truth? Mm. What did it cost? What, is, what does it cost? Mm. What, what did it cost? Mm. The truth. Jesus is right. It's truth. Mm. It cost it all, all, of all of heaven. That's all right. Heaven. All it's empty down to mm -hmm. make sure we understood yes. what truth is and how mm. we can follow the truth, set an example. When people say something, I just don't know what to do. I can't begin with the truth and what to do. I just say something very simple. I'm like Bruce. I'm, I'm simple-minded. It's simple. Mm. I said, you know what? Just read the Bible. And what Jesus did, just do that by the grace of God, by His strength. Just follow in His footsteps and you're going to be okay. Don't scratch mm. out things. Well, He did because somebody said it changed now. I said, no, no. He never changes. Mm. What He did, what He lived on this earth, we can by faith Amen. follow in those footsteps mm -hmm. and it's going to be okay. Amen. That's pretty simple, I think. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you're accepted by the world. The world didn't. They're not going to accept no. you. No. At a time, but not, no, they're not, not going completely. To accept you. No. you know, I, I wrote down several passages that mm -hmm. dealt with truth, but one that I thought about, Matthew 18, verse 3, it said, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted mm. and become as little children, mm. ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I thought about that because little children are so loving, mm -hmm. so trusting. Mm -hmm. When they hear mom and dad, and, and we look mm -hmm. at, at our Heavenly Father as our Father, mm -hmm. what he says, he changes not, it is, it is absolute truth. So when we read that, it's like a little child when they hear mom and dad say mm -hmm. something about, you know, don't touch that or don't put that plant in your mouth, it's poisonous. Mm. You know, most children are not going to put that plant in their mouth mm -hmm. because they realize it could make them <laughs> sick. There's a few of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I said most. I was a, a challenge. I said most. Right. Well, somebody be a challenge. They say don't do it. That's yeah. automatically. Well, you're yeah, talking about your parents. Yeah. The good parent would put that plant up, or uh -huh. if, if it were a house plant, or you know. So God is good. good. Again, talking about the ways that He leads us mm -hmm. to truth. You know, yeah. through through the process of life. Mm -hmm. um, so so good, it's more than what just telling them. Right. We have to do. Mm -hmm. Also, do something mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Right. Just reminds... leave it down here for them to get into. No, we have to do something. Take it and put it maybe in a place where yeah. they can't get right. it. Okay. Until that reminds me of my of our granddaughter Kaylee mm -hmm. when she was little. It didn't matter what Nan and Papa said. That was the gospel was truth. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. It was Thank the gospel you. truth. And if anybody questioned it, because she was she obedient, she shook her head. She, she said, adult. "That's what yeah. Nana said. All right. That's what he, Papa said." He got off on the I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, plant, the disobedient <laughs> child. <laughs> but if a child is obedient and they're loving, they're going to, they're going to do exactly what she did. Mm -hmm. That is right because that's what my nana said. I can't eat that. And nobody that's could what change your mind. Said. Nobody right. could change your mind because nana said it. Be. Papa mm -hmm. said it. Mm -hmm. You know. So and that's how we should be with God. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I like that because we realize when we become inundated with the things of the world, there comes a time when that little twig. You think of a child as twig, you know, you can kind of bend and mold them when they're little, but once they're older, oh, it's very difficult to move that, mm -hmm. that tree now, yeah. you know, but, and that's what I mean when a, a child is little, they're not so inundated with the things of the world. They haven't been, their minds haven't been drawn wow. in so many other um, facets of, I like to say, snares of the enemy. Yes. Hmm. 
that confuses the mm -hmm. mind. See, he likes to get us so busy, so confused oh, yeah. mm -hmm. that when we hear truth, we're, we're skeptic mm -hmm. as to whether or not it's truth. If it's not truth, what would it be? Air. I mean, it's air. It mm -hmm. would be what Jesus spoke about, wouldn't it be? Uh, he talks about, um, was it Matthew 59? You know, in mm -hmm. vain do they worship me, mm -hmm. teaching for doctrines, mm -hmm. the, what? the commandments mm -hmm. of men. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're either preaching, teaching traditions, well, this is what the church taught, this is what our forefathers, this is what they all taught, rather than what does the Bible teach? Mm -hmm. This is what, if not, then we're teaching, you know, traditions rather than what is true. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, and the devil likes that. He's not mm -hmm. going to fight this. Oh, let's let the church, let these people teach all kind of traditions and all kind of this and that because we, we're talking about truth transformed. Tradition doesn't. I'm always mm -hmm. going to put you off in some other place mm -hmm. over here. We're talking about being transformed into image mm -hmm. of Jesus, right? Isn't this what we're talking about? And so truth is so, so very, very important. Uh, in Matthew 15, 6, it says, Thus have ye made the commandments of God of non-effect, by your traditions. Mm -hmm. So we have to figure out whether it's mm -hmm. truth or it's not. If you don't, you just made the Word of God just a non-effect non mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had a thing I'll read here right quick. You, you can, this, I mean, this to me gets heavy duty because of what, the subject matter. And, and this goes a little deeper than some will want to go, but I, I, I like to do that. I like to challenge people. Oh, I, like, <clears throat> I like to get in spots. and dig. And sometimes I dig a little bit too deep. But I think we need to dig, I mean, dig, dig, dig. There's such thing as what, <laughs> digging too deep. Dig a little bit too, too deep. And then they say you had to try to dig your way out yeah, of it. Dig your way out. You know, <laughs> get in deep and let's get the Word of God and let's dig our way back out of it. Because I want to be, never, 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 never be so prideful that you can't say, oh, I was mistaken on that. Yes, oh, I, I thought this was true. That's true. I've had to back up and take yeah. another step Absolutely. here and there Me in my too. Christian growth from my youth mm -hmm. on to, up to today mm -hmm. to say this was what I really thought it seemed like it was, right. but I see another aspect of it right, right now. Mm -hmm. And then that's, that's the, always the learning stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a Review and Herald article, 1896. This was written. It says, Let the watchman. So every time I see that, I just, we're all watchmen. We're to be watchmen on the walls. <clears throat> on the walls. Yeah, let the watchman not join with those who are making non effect the truth. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, this is interesting. We, we have to balance it. We're talking about balance mm -hmm. again. We're not to join in with those who what, are making non effect the truth as it is in Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is heavy now. Let them not join, notice this, the confederacy of infidelity, popery, or Protestantism in exalting tradition above Scripture. Mm -hmm. Reason, Bruce was talking about reason above basically revelation, mm -hmm. human talent mm -hmm. above the divine influence and the vital power of godliness. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That, I mean, that could be the rest <laughs> of the subject as far as, you know, our discussion here. Uh -huh. <clears throat> there has to come a point that we love truth and love God enough that sometime we have to let other things go in life. And mm -hmm. it may be friendships and everything that's yeah. pulling us backwards, pulling us mm -hmm. down, yeah. pulling us against what is truth, what the Holy Spirit has impressed mm -hmm. you, me, each one of, this is truth. And then a good friend comes along and says, well, this is not really the way mm -hmm. that it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to kind of get away from that and go back mm -hmm. to the, the Word of God because we're watchmen on the walls and mm -hmm. we need not get involved in that because we lose the power yeah of mm -hmm. godliness in life. Mm -hmm. But we have a form, remember the Bible talks about a form of godliness, right. but we're denying the power there. or the, of, of trans, you know, trans, uh, we're talking about transformed. Mm -hmm. Being transformed yeah. has to be the power of godliness. You know, you mentioned um, friends and uh, Satan can use anyone that, you know, sometimes don't even realize they're being used by Satan, but you know, early on in my Christian walk, I had friends that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, especially one good friend that, you know, we were like sisters. And that friendship, I could see it from the beginning that if oh. it continued, that there would be a bad influence there. Mm. And so I really prayed about it and that was really hard, but I had to distance myself mm. from her, mm -hmm. um, my really good friend. And, but you know, I can see now where God was doing that on purpose because, um, you know, even though you have that connection with that person, that that can you know Satan can use relationships yes. and he mm -hmm. does it to his advantage, to where it makes us you know um, question things about God. But if we go off our emotions and our oh, you know boy. those mm -hmm. connections, then mm -hmm. we can get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that scriptural? So, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean absolutely. I'm just asking. Absolutely. Just is it scriptural? <laughs> is, is it from book of Genesis to the back of the book of Revelation. Yeah. 
covenant. That's consistent. Mm -hmm. that, that God requires us. Mm -hmm. He says, come apart and be separate and touch not mm -hmm. the unclean. Sure doesn't mean you're going to work for them and you love them and you're going to be here, but sometimes mm -hmm. socializing and spending a lot of time yeah. will, if, if it's not elevated, it's going to drag us down. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been through that in the earlier mm -hmm. years and probably everybody here has. Mm -hmm. diff there's different people who want, you want to be around because they elevate you toward heaven and there's others who mm -hmm. drag you down yeah. and mm -hmm. give you questions that maybe mm -hmm. we shouldn't have, in, you know, in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm 100% I'm agreeing with that. We, we need to you stay know, close. When I'm working with kids, Tammy, a lot of times we sing, there's a flag flying high in mm. the castle of my heart. You know, that flag represents a standard. Go on. Mm. And what happens because we love people so mm. much and when we spend more time or we go somewhere where you say, well, I know they're not preaching all the truth, but they've got some of it. Mm. We find ourselves beginning to lower our standards. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know there's a lot of times that you know, Jesus said, there's so many things I want to tell mm. you, but you're not ready yet. Mm. Exactly. And thank you, Bruce, because now <laughs> I, I, since I see that, I've experienced that yeah. more than yes. ever before because there's things that I want to tell people, mm. but they're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The heart hasn't been made ready. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, until the heart's made ready, but I think our job, and that's why it's so wonderful, we have all of these avenues, whether it's mm -hmm. 3ABN or these wonderful books, you mentioned Steps to Christ, mm -hmm. that we can give and just Amen. pray that the Holy Spirit will encourage someone to pick it up and read it. Mm -hmm. And someone asked me, uh, as, as I discussed the Steps to Christ and the puppy folders, and someone said, uh, well, so, do you follow up after they go home? Mm. They take. Do you follow up and ask, mm. have they read yeah. it? What did they oh, think yeah. about? And I said, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. That's not my job mm -hmm. to to follow up and do that. I put. Mm -hmm. I plant the seed, mm -hmm. and it's up exactly. to God to do the rest <clears throat> yeah. and to open the heart. Amen. And mm -hmm. the last thing I want to do is put somebody on the spot and say, did you read no. that book? Mm -hmm. You know that I gave you, and mm -hmm. and it, then they're embarrassed if they didn't. Right. You know, right. so you're just kind of putting people in a corner. Mm -hmm. So that's just my way of planting the seed and, mm -hmm. and hoping that God will take care and of the rest. many times people have questioned you. That's a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a tough one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm, one, <laughs> I'm one of the follows up or something. <laughs> right. Well, I think, right. I think oh, that's personality yeah. driven. In discernment. It, it, yeah, you yeah. Know. But right. discernment, it has that's, to be well, but right discernment. Think about sometimes too, because when somebody gives me something, <laughs> They, and guy just gave me a, a couple of DVDs or, and some oh. paper <laughs> while I'm working and so on and so forth. And said, can you watch these? And, and I want to know what you think. But, but, you know, it's all good. But he's going so to come this back. This was about uh, uh, spiritual matters? Oh, yeah, yes. spiritual okay. matters. Oh, yeah, spir yeah spiritual <laughs> yeah. matters. So, I mean, it's, it's all good. But I thoroughly expect that he will come back to me so as think? a friend and I know him or something. And say, not that what Tammy's doing is wrong. No. It's just, because it's, it's, it's very said, clear because it says time and a place. One, one plants and what? The other water. Another, Another waters. waters, and somebody comes by and reaps. Mm -hmm. So there's there's phases of that. Mm -hmm. But again, everybody is not not the same in the way that right. they do, and I think that's okay too. So sure, sometimes I yeah. just I expect he will come back and say, now did you watch those? You know, mm -hmm. did did you? Yeah. <laughs> which which is kind yeah. of holding me responsible and accountable for what he will you? Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, you go. Okay. I was just thinking too. I think it also depends on the situation. Like yeah. if you directly just gave him the book and talked yeah. about it, um, and then later followed up. I think that's yeah. one thing. But another, you know, what she's doing is giving like a where it's included with the other stuff. Yeah, right. sure, not the sure. focal point. Yeah. And maybe so there's there's a little bit of a different focus there too, you know. Oh, so absolutely. it's kind of like absolutely. but definitely by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Everybody has touched on something that is true that we can find <laughs> scripturally. Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest thing is, and I learned this many, many years ago, is to pray for an open door. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if they read that book That's it. Mm -hmm. And they may have questions, questions, more questions for yeah. Tammy. Mm -hmm. Or if she's talking to them and yeah. she's been praying for an open door and they say something, then she might be able to allude back to the book exactly. or back exactly. to mm -hmm. God, you know. So we pray for those that's open good. doors because if we force that door open, no, that's they'll right. turn them mm -hmm. off. And they'll yeah. slam it in our yeah. face. How, how, not just me, but how people conduct business when you have a lot of interaction yeah. with different people. Mm -hmm. I have people that come from all over and how you conduct business and try to do the right thing if there's a problem, that does more than just about anything. Amen. Because yeah. then 
people will, I had an instance and I won't go into it, but anyway, I, I helped the person and with, with this puppy situation. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know what? And I'd never, through the months of talking to them, I had never got the impression that they were Christians, not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. I just, just okay. hadn't, you know, said anything uh, that would lead me to believe. And when I gave them this puppy, they said, we're going to name this puppy Shiloh because we've looked it up and it, in different aspects, it might mean gift of God, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And they said, we feel that what you have done is a gift of God. Oh, and so we're going to name the puppy this. Well, that just blew me away yeah. because, wow. you know, you, you never know what mm -hmm. people's thinking. But when you try to conduct yourself in, in the right manner and ask the Lord to help you to do that, it makes an impression yes. mm -hmm. a lot more than you could mm -hmm. preach or teach, I yes. think, sometimes. Exactly. And they'll, they'll, and they'll read that book sometime. They'll read your literature mm -hmm. because because you've witnessed in your business transaction yeah. and mm -hmm. they've seen Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. And it makes people want to say, well, they gave me this and I think I'll, I'll look at that. So mm -hmm. none of the aspects is wrong. Those are all perfect and wonderful mm -hmm. what everybody's doing. But mm -hmm. there will be different ones will do different things. Right. And, yeah. and, and like saying, still be in a Christ-like way that we do those things and, and, and be a witness you're talking right. about because witness is transforming. I can hear here, there's some people being transformed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the transformed people that you mm -hmm. work with, you see them being transformed transformed. You mentioned a while ago what not, not immediately. Sometimes it oh, takes time. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Time. And you know, a lot of times we pass judgment. Like mm -hmm. you mentioned, you had no idea whether the, or not they were Christians, mm -hmm. but you made a very important point. And that's one reason that I think our dress, our deportment, mm -hmm. our, the way we speak, because mm -hmm. people are going to pick people up are, on those they're things. Looking, they're, they're looking. They're watching. Oh, they Thank are. You. Mm -hmm. And those in our family are going to know the truth. Mm -hmm. They're really going to see it. Yeah. You know, they, they see, see all, all of sides <laughs> yeah. of us. So mm -hmm. really our missionary work begins where? At home. At, At home. home. Oh, yeah. At home. Mm -hmm. And then as, as the home begins to become more Christ-like and, and heavenly atmosphere begins mm -hmm. to be, to dwell in that mm -hmm. facility, yeah. then we can share these things with other wow. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you, you've all experienced, mm -hmm. I've experienced it. Mm -hmm with some of the way, I, I don't really want to describe it to a T, but there's some people the way they dress, I wouldn't think that they knew anything about Christ. Mm -hmm. But then again, mm -hmm. you know, it can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that maybe, may be where they're at. That's where they're, they're at. Right. In their Christian yeah. experience. They're trying so to climb the on the, maybe the bottom mm -hmm. rung. I feel like when I look up that big ladder, it leads from earth all the way to heaven. I'm on mm -hmm. the bottom rung. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, but I, and I'm fighting and struggling by the grace of mm -hmm. God doing what I understand to do, to reach up for the, mm -hmm. for the next yeah. one. Yeah. And that's why it's so important that no matter who we meet, mm -hmm. what they look like, that's that right. we love them exactly. all the same. You know, yeah. Christ mm -hmm. loved the sinner, but he hated the what? No, the, the sin. sin. The sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's sin that separates us from heaven. Mm -hmm. It's sin that emptied all of heaven to save us. Yes. And it's sin that will keep us out of the kingdom. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it's the truth mm -hmm. that will set us free. Mm -hmm. Free from what? Yeah. Sin. sin. From, from sin. And evil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Free sin. from sin. Mm -hmm. So that's why the truth is so vitally mm -hmm. important. How do, you, how, do you, how do you come to love the truth? Oh. You know, there's a difference. When we talk about truth and knowledge, it's not going to get you anywhere. It's nice mm -hmm. to have. Right. This brings but, me to a good question. Yeah. But how do I come to love it? Well, like I, I know somebody that, that they all they, they watch 3ABN 24-7. Well. They study, they read mm -hmm. um, to, to the point that it's like they're so unhappy because oh. they're, going, they're saying, I can never reach all oh. these goals, all these things yeah. that we're told that we must do and you say, can't. and I am just, I, I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to make it. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do you deal with somebody like yeah, that? I'd say mm -hmm. one thing and everybody have their own maybe comment. I'm saying when I, when I look into the spiritual mirror mm -hmm. and oh I see God. my face there, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, mm -hmm. when I see Jesus there, mm -hmm. I'm not in trouble. Mm -hmm. we, we following that? Mm -hmm. In other words, everybody, we're reading all these things and we're looking, oh, I just can't do it. I, I can't attain that. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. You can't gain victory over right. sin in your life on your own. Amen. You can't gain all these problems that we have, hereditary, cultivated, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. We're lost sinners. Mm -hmm. And so we need outside help, don't we? Mm -hmm. And so what we do when I read these things, and I read some things I look at, I say, oh, Lord, that's not possible with me. Oh, and yeah. it's like the answer comes back. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It comes back as 
No, you can't. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, kind of a good relationship is, no, you can't. Lord, I just can't see, I can't, how am I going to gain victory? No, you can't but I can help you gain that victory. Yes. Amen. It's Amen. all yes. about Christ. That's yes. why we see His face Amen. when we looked at all these things. All things are possible through Christ, Christ Jesus. Well, it's the blood of the Lamb that Amen. cleanses us Amen. from sin Amen. and that that's the way we get into heaven. Amen. We don't Amen. get into heaven by following all the Amen. precepts. Our goal is to follow them to the best of our ability mm -hmm. by His grace and power. Mm -hmm. By His but, grace. Uh, it's Absolutely. strictly through the blood Amen. that we mm -hmm. even yeah. have a chance. It's, it's all by we, we it's not, all him. It's him. It's all yeah, Him. It, it yeah. is. It's a it gift is a and gift. it's faith. It is right. a gift. Thank you. And that opens yeah. up but a we home. Will, but we will act upon faith. Yeah. Good. Right, right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we and have that's right. our deeds. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. Add to that. It, that's beautiful. I love how you just yeah. blended that because I thought, boy, that's another hour study. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> because well, I can remember in my early 20s when we just started having a, a Bible study every Friday evening, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, I started reading through the scriptures, just really reading. And all of a sudden, I kept seeing this word obedience, obedience. Mm -hmm. oh, obedience. Yes. Uh, what in the <laughs> world? Mm -hmm. Obedience. Uh, <laughs> mm, ouch. <laughs> Most people but, say yeah. <laughs> you know, but Christ, we just, you mentioned follow mm -hmm. Christ and, and follow in his footsteps and we'll be fine. He was obedient mm -hmm. unto death. Mm -hmm. he, the only reason mm -hmm. he shed that blood mm -hmm. was because of the law. Yes. Yeah. And because of the yeah. steps that we learned from the sanctuary that there had to be blood that was shed in order for forgiveness yeah. to be forgiven. Yeah. It's, so, it's what, so what's the greatest argument, mm -hmm. right, that, that the law of God is still binding? Oh, that Christ oh, went to the cross. <laughs> Calvary. 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 Did, did we get that? We need to get that if we don't get anything else out of this study. The greatest mm -hmm. argument that the law of God is still binding is Calvary. Why? Mm -hmm. Because sin, Christ went there to die mm -hmm. in our place. Wages of sin is, is death. death. What? It's by the law is the knowledge of mm -hmm. sin. Does it save you? You know, point law? No. Yeah. Points out what sin is mm -hmm. and drives me to Jesus. That's, that's the good point. It's uh, kind of on the idea of knowledge, you know, what Tammy was saying about yes. knowledge is sometimes we can make knowledge our God. Mm -hmm. Oh, instead of, oh look instead out Instead of now. looking to the Savior yeah. and, you know, the real God, we're looking at the knowledge, mm -hmm. thinking right. that's going to save us and oh, making right. that our God, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. We won't get to that during this study, but I think we'll do another part on this mm -hmm. and that's going to be talked about mm -hmm. because there yes. is there a difference between knowledge and, and you Love. know, knowing the mm -hmm. truth and, and Love loving them. the truth. Mm -hmm. And I like Tammy's question again, yeah, too. I think, I think everybody's kind of touched on it a little bit, but really we can do nothing without Christ. No. You have, Amen. the person Thank has you. to pray and say, Lord, if this is the way you want me to walk, then strengthen me to walk Amen. in. Amen. And just take yes. that, that's where faith comes in. Mm -hmm. Take the step of faith. You can't eat the whole cake at one setting. Right. At least well, I can't. There well, might be some true. people. Okay, he's always going to take <laughs> no, the other way. There's going to be some people that can't. I cannot. Let's say it's a huge cake, okay? <laughs> yeah, there's some huge problems. It's as big as this <laughs> table. And you've got a huge appetite. I don't know anybody that can eat one that big, okay? <laughs> Actually, that might be the answer. One oh, little bit at a time. Yeah, yes. because what? because this person, I mean, they, they know that, that that they can do anything through Christ. They they know that. Yeah, sure. But yet, it's know. just it's just a constant burden. I, you know, even with this help, I'm, maybe I'm not going to get there. And I look at this, and I look at that, yeah. and I always say to them. It's one step at a time, time because when you look at it as a whole of where you should be and where you are, it is overwhelming it can be. because you say, oh, you know, I'm never going to, but yeah. that's not how it happens. It's just a step at a time. And remind her as we will remind everybody else that's listening to this story. It's the enemy, the devil, the Bible says, that's the accuser of the brother. Yeah. Mm. It is yeah. he that brings about the depression and says, you see, mm -hmm. you can't live up to all that. You can't do all those things. Mm -hmm. Give it up. That's mm -hmm. right. I've been there. That's right. mm -hmm. I have been there. But, you know, the Bible talks about we can be free mm -hmm. from sin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Think about free from sin. That means through the power of the Holy Spirit, He can give us all, mm -hmm. let this mind be in you. What does all that it's mean awesome. if it doesn't Christ mean what it says, right? Yes. right? right. right. That, that our mind needs to be, we commit our mind to Him, we commit our tongue to Him, our mm -hmm. thoughts to Him. 
and then we react in the way that that's the Holy Spirit gives us that victory. That, mm -hmm. the, I mean, to me, that's just exciting. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know about you. I don't get overwhelmed when I read it, but I realize I'm far away mm -hmm. and I'm in need of a Savior. And then you and reach that, out for Him. And I reach out for Him and <laughs> yeah. I cling to, to mm -hmm. His feet, as it were. I cling to the cross of Calvary and say, Oh God, I need some help. Don't leave me. Mm -hmm. I'm in bad shape. Help me. And God will always help you. Please do that Amen. today. Amen. Amen. Truly, we are pilgrims, and this world is not our home. Oh. You mentioned re singing it at the end. Well, Let's do it again. Well, Tim, just run over that Thank piano. You, <laughs> this world is not our I'm getting home. Excited We're just about a this. passing through. Sing it along with us again. As we close. They know it now, don't they? Oh, yeah. All right. Join in with us, everybody. This, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid